Frustrating day, um, you know, but I, you know, I thought that the offense had some spurts of doing some positive things. Uh, I was encouraged that, unfortunately, that last series where we had a chance to score, um, it wasn't making any difference in the games in terms of where that was at that point in time in the fourth quarter, but it would have been nice to finish that drive and had a chance to put some points on the board. I do think the young quarterback is getting better. Uh, we got to continue to grow within our offense, that side of it, in terms of the younger receivers, the backs, the tight ends, you know, all of them are young. You know, we just got to find a way to continue to work on improving and getting more production. You know, that's something that's not, the, particularly the passing game, we need to get more production in that standpoint. You know, the other side, the flip side of that is, you know, that was a very challenging offense and that quarterback was, you know, we didn't, we didn't slow him down. You know, we didn't slow him down at all. Uh, Got a lot of yards. You know, he had six six touchdown passes. Um, they we we struggled on that side of the ball. You know, we did. We struggled with trying to uh, get them down in the you know whatever whatever it could be runs or passes. So we just have a tremendous amount of work. Uh, we're working hard in practice. We're working hard, and we're trying to improve the fundamentals and things that we do. Um, it's just not showing up fast enough when we play. That's the unfortunate thing. Coach, when, it, when it's not showing up, um, I mean, is there really much hope for it to show up at some point this season, or is this something that's going to? There's always hope. I mean, I'm always going to have hope. You know, that's our players need hope, the coaches need hope. We're always going to try to find a way. We're going to kind of, we're going to continue to to try to find the right combinations of things to do. With maybe it's changing personnel and changing people in the personnel groupings. We're going to try to do anything and everything to try to improve what we're doing. It's obviously not very good right now. What made Arizona so difficult to stop in the passing game tonight? There were a lot of open players, you know. Even if guys were covered pretty well, he made some really tight quarter throws, and you know, he made some really good plays. Talking about like Delara, he made some really good plays. How difficult the last five weeks practice not translating into games has that been for you personally, not to have that? It's been challenging. It has been. It has been. How did Owen do? Would you say in his first start on the road? Like your yeah your. your, your, your. Uh, uh, okay. Still okay. He's still making some young mistakes. It's unfortunate we got sacked. It really wasn't any pressure on that last play. Just got our tackle got beat. You know, we get hit, balls coughed up, and they get the, uh, kind of a, a turnover there. That was our only turnover of the game. You know, we're, we're playing probably as, as clean as we could play offensively. We're not making a lot of production. But in terms of not making as many mistakes and turning the ball over, things like that, that's been really good. Uh, it just hasn't been prolific. Carlos, with the defense, it's obviously been several weeks of this. Uh, is the scheme an issue? Or what, uh, is it the players? We do it anything and everything. You know, I'm, I'm not ever blaming the players. I'm not going to ever do that. It's always on our, us as coaches. And if we're, we, we really have paid a lot of attention trying to do the right things with our people. Uh, it's just been, uh, it hasn't been the right things. You know, we're going to continue to find, try to find the right way to do this. What have you seen out of Anthony Hankerson here these last couple weeks? He's been positive. He's been a positive glimmer, you know, for us offensively. You know, he's a uh, a kid that since he's been back from injury, uh, he loves the game. He's a great teammate. He's, you know, his personality and the way he plays, it, it rubs off on you or you want to play, you know, for this guy. So he's doing some really positive things. You have guy Thomas Shaquille tonight. Um, What's going on with either one of those guys? Guy is was in concussion protocol from practice on Tuesday, so that didn't have enough time to clear. After that, you know, when you have something in the middle, of the week, you're not going to play by Saturday. And then Caleb, it was a game time situation here. He just he came up and he wasn't feeling well. His he was, the system's out of balance, so he didn't play. You also have made some changes on the offensive line. Um, took a couple guys out that have started every game. How do you feel like those changes? What prompted that and, and kind of how do you feel like those? Trying to find the right combinations. You know, we, we felt there was some efficiency offensively. Um, I want bigger plays. That's what I want. I want bigger plays. You know, we had a couple plays. And, you know, I know the young receiver had a 42 yard, you know, post route today. But we need more of those types of plays. We, have, we need more. You know, we have to have more chunks and um, run the ball even a little bit better, too. So we're trying to, to do, well, I think we only had like 61 plays. Yes. How many do they have? 83 or something? Yeah. So we, we, we love to be on the field a little longer. You know, I'd like to be on the field a little longer, have more plays, more production. I know the result is not what you wanted, but is this still considered a step 
forward in your offense or is your offense, you know, like how would you assess the play of the offense overall tonight? It was balanced. Still, the production was not quite what I'm expecting it to be. Uh, I thought the changes, you know, what Brian was talking about with the guys on the offensive line, I thought they played okay. I thought Tank played pretty well until that last play. You know, he didn't finish the, uh, his, his pass set. And it's one of those things when you, when you don't do it just one time, it could be catastrophic, and it was for us offensively. Carl, is, is your program regressing at this point and with a bye week coming up? Be concerned that this could have been your last game. No, I'm not concerned about that. What's the next step then you feel like for yourself in this program? We gotta keep we gotta keep going. You know, we gotta keep finding ways, you know, to get these guys to play better. Um, we're gonna look at anything and everything. Do that. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.